Hello everybody, this is Aaron from Sibling Rivalry, and today we've got a special treat for you. We've got some nano blocks, uh, some Pokemon nano blocks in particular. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, they're essentially like Lego, but a uh, smaller form factor, I guess. And we're going to assemble these and talk about nano blocks and just kind of chat. So let's cue the intro. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a Pikachu and a Snorlax, which it, this is the Japanese kit, so he's a uh, Cabigon. Um, if you're not familiar with Nanoblocks, they're a building toy from Kawada. They're originally from Japan, but they've started to kind of surface more in Canada and the rest of the West in the last few years. Um, yeah, they're essentially just a competitor for Lego, but they're just very small. As you can see here, the bricks are just absolutely tiny. So, uh, we're going to start with the Pikachu, because why not? Pikachu's big. Um, or small, I guess, in this case. Oh, comes in a couple inner bags and this is actually a resealable bag in case you want to disassemble the kit and put it back in there so that's a nice little feature um, it's got some quick information on the back nano block is an extremely micro-sized building block born in japan the smallest part is mere four by four by five millimeters fun to make fun to display and fun to collect nano block is stimulating and entertaining hobby for hobby material for everyone especially for grown-ups you can check on their site they've got dia block dot co dot jp slash nanoblock and they'll have uh, some different materials on their stuff um, but yeah let's get started here with pikachu I'm lay out the instructions thankfully this is all pictographic so it doesn't matter that half of it is in kanji um, okay we are gonna open these bags ideally in the least destructive way possible I'm going to grab my multi-tool out of my pocket, the card one, and we're going to slice these open. Just going to go like that. Good thing I've got this cutting mat here as a build surface. There's no numbering on these, so that's, uh, I would say, potentially a shortcoming compared to Lego. But, I mean... That's not really a big deal. Personally, I don't really look at the numbering on Lego. I usually will just unpack the Lego or whatnot and knoll the pieces out and organize it that way and then kind of work through the kit. So, let's open these guys, the remainder of these guys up. This guy's still rolling, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I actually have a bit of an interesting, well, not, maybe not interesting story, but interesting uh, experience with nanoblocks. When I was in Japan, which if you haven't seen our uh, Tushy Bidet, uh, almost a commercial video, um, you'll know that I went to Japan uh, in 2011 and that was around the time that these kits first started to show up uh, from my understanding like this was that was about when they first became a, a thing and I was in the uh, Tokyo airport on the way home we were essentially sitting in the Tokyo airport for like 15 hours waiting for the plane because we just kind of were being evacuated after the earthquake um, so uh, we were looking around, the Tokyo airport is huge, it's like the size of a shopping mall, um, or two. There's essentially like two shopping malls built into the airport. So, my friends and I were going around and looking at all the different shops and stuff and seeing 
what last little things we could see out of Japan. And uh, I noticed these nanoblock kits and they had all sorts of different ones. They had different uh, characters, different animals, uh, buildings and stuff like that. And I've actually got a few building kits that we might do in the future. I actually just noticed these panda kits and I remembered my mom really liked pandas at the time. So I got the panda kits and then I was like, I ended up buying, I think, two or three of the panda kits because I was just like, hey, even if I build one panda, I've got all these extra blocks to kind of play around with and see what it's like. And yeah, I wound up with a whole bunch of black, white, green, and green uh, nano blocks, which are still floating around in the odd place here and there. So let's get started with this. Uh, so it says here that we're gonna need two of these two by four bits. I'm just gonna scoot this stuff up here a little bit and make my life a little, maybe a little easier, maybe a little harder. Um, okay, so two of those, two of these uh, two peg guys. And we are going to set these in the middle. Hopefully this video is enjoyable in some way for you guys. I'm kind of doing this because I've had a bit of a long day. And I always find building stuff to be very therapeutic, especially kits. There we go, so that goes like that. This kind of feels like uh, perler beads almost at this size. And I know nanoblocks actually, or uh, Kawada, actually makes nano beads, which are like their take on perler beads. And I have a few kits of those that we'll probably do in the future. Because that's always a fun thing to play around with. Perler beads are always good fun. Okay, so now I have to figure out how this goes on to that. <laughs> um, Okay, so that goes over that way, right? I gotta look at this up close. Okay, if that is... Okay, these have to go this way, from my understanding. We'll find out soon enough if I've messed up. Maybe someone who's assembled this before will ream me out or something. I don't know. Okay, so that goes that way. Okay, it looks like there's actually a bit of a stagger there. This is a little, I don't want to say frustrating, but confusing. So when you're working with stuff that's this small, you kind of need a Maybe a clearer picture is what I should say. I think I'm building Pikachu's head here, but I'm not 100% certain. Okay, so let's see. This goes on top of that, I think. I want to say that that goes that way. This goes in that way. This guy goes in that way, maybe that followed by that hmm what 
is even going on there? This just seems overly complicated. And I love that this is like the two brick out of two out of five brick for uh, difficulty. So that should be fun. Um, <laughs> maybe I've gotten myself in too deep here. Let's see. So this guy goes there, it looks like. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. It's a million to one shot. Yeah, okay. So I need another one of these to go on this side. Okay. So that's like that. It's not super sturdy yet. It's the one thing that I can say about nano blocks is they're not as sturdy as Lego. Lego has the advantage of the uh, the cylindrical column in the middle, which adds a lot in terms of rigidity. Okay, There's, we need one of those. We need two of them actually. And they are going to go right here. Okay, that looks good-ish, I guess. I, I'm, I'm a bit at a bit of a loss here. Um, okay, it says for the next one we need three of these. I'm just going to set this over there. Two of these actually, so I guess I can hold on to them. Um, two of these. One of the little brown two peg jobbies. Um, two of the yellow ones. Okay. Got two of those. I need two of the three. Sure, this is like the most boring video ever. I don't know, I need three of the two. Aye. Three three of the three. Aye. Okay, and then I need two of the big guys, the long ones. Okay, two of these little L bit, L, L bits, ow, two, uh, two by twos, oh, three two by twos actually, I swear I can't read, um, yeah, I've already got two of those, I just need two of these three, or three long, two wide. Okay, so top layer of this, we are going to take one of these guys, snap it across like that. These two go across like so. Then that just builds on that. One thing I've noticed is you kind of have to look ahead a step or two to see the actual depth of it because you're not getting a full angle of this. Um, okay. Like an isometric view will only get you so far. Okay, we want this to go across this way. Oop. Did that just break off his, part of his tail? I did. Okay, now we want a three peg to go this way. 
a four peg to go this way and just press again from the bottom okay so I've got that layer done next I get to build up the next layer which looks like it's his arms so they go out like this they stick out a little bit it looks like yeah it looks like they stick out almost entirely um, this is gonna drive me insane slowly I am going crazy one two three four five six switch lazy going slowly am I six five four three two one switch slowly I am going crazy two three four five six switch Crazy going slowly, and my six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. switch. Okay, now these go across here. It's getting pretty sturdy actually as we build on it, which I guess that's just how things work, typically. I had an extra one of those. Um, okay, that's fine. I was just throwing me off. I thought I had all of those already. And then I look at it and I'm going crazy. Like, how does this go together? How am I missing something if like I've literally followed the instructions? The answer is usually you messed up a little bit in some way. Maybe you just added too many parts. I'm not worrying too much about the knolling anymore. It's just kind of looking at what goes next and pulling it out as I go. Because I feel like I'm just going to drive myself nuts by trying to organize this. And then if I miss something, actually knolling these ent entirely would probably be beneficial. Um, Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. After this one, I'm just going to go and stop for a sec and knoll everything. But I knoll everything. What have I become? I'm gonna look at the picture here because I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on. This is, the way they're showing this right there, that could shift forward or backward. I'm trying to figure out exact like if it's exactly that spot that touches that pin. If that's the case, then I guess I have to start with that pin and then base everything else off of there, which that looks to be the case here. So bring this all into camera here okay this guy is supposed to have that pin is it that no we need one of these which goes not there but there midway and inwards 
Okay, and now we just mirror that on the other side. And go like that, I guess, is what I'm seeing. Maybe we'll end up with a homunculus of a Pikachu. Only one way to find out. Okay, yeah, it looks like it stands out a little bit. Um, which means this goes that way. Okay. Yeah. And then mirror the other side. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, there's the back of a Pikachu. Hmm, cool. All right, next step. We're getting into the red, so we're doing his cheeks now. Okay, so we need four of these. Which means there's one remaining, which will set it over there. From my understanding with these kits, they usually leave one, uh, what's it called? There's usually a spare part of each thing, like one of each part. So you don't end up like losing a single part or something. There's always one extra piece of each thing, each element, I should say. Okay, now we need four of these, which that's going to be interesting. When you're dealing with parts this small, it gets a little crazy, a little cray cray, cray cray. I only need two of those, I guess. Um, well, in that case, if I'm separating them, I might as well just null at the same time. Yeah. Good way to find out if you have arthritis or tendon problems, dealing with a ton of tiny little pieces. I don't know if we'll do both builds in this video just because we don't want to bore everybody to death. Maybe we'll split this into two videos. Yeah, I think we'll split this into two videos. Um, okay, what was I looking for? There's a little one pegs. There's the fours. This is super, super exciting stuff, I know. Uh, so we just need a single one of these. We need two of these one pegs. Um, three two pegs. four of these, so let's grab three more of them, scoot him over here, four of those, okay, got everything right. Right, right, right. Okay.
Slowly I'm going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch. Crazy going slowly. Am I six, five, four, three, two, one? Switch. Slowly I am going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch. Crazy going slowly. Am I six, five, four, three, two, one? Switch. Okay. Oh. Whoa. 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 Okay, there's some clear ones. really enthusiastic. This is good spaghetti. Val's going to have a fun time editing this one. I say sarcastically. In case that's not clear. Okay. There. We've got everything organized. Woo! Now we get to start. And it says right here to start assembly from this block on the back. So we take a two peg, put it on the back there, and then from there we go, and then we take one of these, one of these, do that, take two of these. This is actually I'm starting to enjoy this a lot more. At first, I was a little aggravated, to be honest, by the uh, vague instructions. But uh, now that I'm thinking of it as kind of like a puzzle, it doesn't bother me. That's the weird thing. OK. So that goes like that. And it has this guy go like that. So if you're playing along at home, you do that, and then you do that. But can your friends do this? Can your friends do that? Do, do, do. Can your friends say abracadabra? Copyright claim and take your video down. <laughs> I would say if you're building this at home and you're frustrated, go from inside out. That seems to have worked best in this case. Um, whenever I've done anything, it's actually getting kind of cute. Normally, I'm not a big fan of like uh, 3D voxel sort of stuff, like too often. Um, but this is actually kind of cute. It's growing on me. Maybe because I'm building it. I see more about it. Okay, now we need one to go on here, two to go there. We're making his eyes now. Made his nose, made his cheeks. Now we gotta make his eyes. And then we do this. Take another one, do the other side. I'm glad that they're not just. Like they're being efficient in the building of this and not just filling the whole thing solid with bricks. It's kind of a waste, in my opinion. A lot of times, like if it's a stationary model, like this is going to be, um, 
to me it makes more sense to just kind of hollow it out because you're wasting it's more environmentally friendly maybe that's just a weird way of looking at it but that's how I see it um, okay we take this guy put him across the back there of the head yeah let me know in the comments down below if you guys have done any uh, nanoblocks kits or similar looking at doing maybe some metal earth stuff I've got a DeLorean from like back to the future as well as some satellites and space stuff because I always like the uh, the aerospace models those are always really fun okay so now we do that do his little cheeks starting to look like uh, maybe a Pikachu maybe call me maybe okay. all the other boys try to face me Try to fight me, but here's my broadsword. Please just knight me. <laughs> mm, cute. Okay. Oh, my elbows are getting sore. Okay, let's see. This is definitely super exciting, high octane content that you're all chomping at the bit for. Super de duper de. Super duper. We actually got a few more Lego builds coming up as well. If you like Lego builds, give us a thumbs up. Bigger guys back there. Hi guys, I'm Pikachu. I like lasagna. This is really growing on me actually. I feel like partly as I'm holding it and it just kind of, the tactility of it is kind of endearing I don't know I know I'm weird okay let's finish up the crown of the Pikachu they say it fits if you let it mm -hmm. to forget it scratched your name across my eyelids you prayed for rain i prayed for blindness you still want me please forgive me cause the spark is not within me Okay, so after some minor mishaps, and I'm sure you guys will see that, the, uh, the alarm for the dogs went off. I had to take them both separate walks because there's been a... I've had to wash Leonard three times in the past day from Leonard, from Duncan peeing on him in various times. Um, uh, but yeah, so, uh, sorry if the video interrupted at all. Um, 
we're back. We've got a, I almost said a Scooby-Doo, a Pikachu, similar sound, um, who is missing his ears and the rest of his tail. So it's kind of like maybe a Pokemon shelter. Like if he was like shelter Pikachu, I don't know. Um, maybe that's a dark thing, to, dark road to go down. Let's continue. So we're gonna do his ears. We just did his bum and feet. We essentially put a little invisible, or not invisible, but clear tile on the bottom so that his feet and that will hold him level when he sands. Now we're gonna assemble the ears from my understanding and then from that go and attach the ears. So now that I'm looking at this again with fresh eyes, I'm back where I was in square one. This is just a confusing mess. <laughs> but uh, it says I need two of these. So we'll grab two of those. Um, it says I need four of these little black L's. I'm guessing one for each ear. So I'm going to partition these into different piles, I guess. Um, <laughs> says that I need two, two pegs. Okay. Uh, one, three peg, which let's see if we still have one of those. There we go. I don't know where that's gonna go. So we'll set it separate. Set it in the middle here. Um, super exciting stuff, I know. Um, one of these four pegs, we'll set it in the middle there. I'm guessing that probably goes on his head or no, that goes on his tail. I'm seeing from here. Um, okay. Uh, got that. So I need five of these guys, the little yellow L's. Four, five. Yeah, it's looking so far, judging by my uh, pile just off camera here, um, that there is going to be one of each part left over in the end. So it looks like that whole uh, thing that I mentioned before about how these are supposed to always have an extra of each element left over. It looks like that is true, at least in this case. Um, that makes sense. And I wish Lego would do that because sometimes you like lose a piece or a piece goes missing or someone inhales it. Um, or you get like a, uh, a kit at the value village and it's missing a single brick <laughs> and you wish that it came with like just maybe an extra one so that it reduces the likelihood of losing that single brick but maybe i'm crazy um okay so it says we take these little two by three guys and we are gonna take these little l pieces and connect them in the back like that judging by the diagram over here yeah, some of these are helpful on these little assembly diagrams because it shows exactly which peg is supposed to align where. Other times it's just like a total mess. I could really, uh, they could use some help from either Bandai or Lego in, or both, in uh, how to do really good instructions. Okay, so we take this guy and this guy And then we go opposite with the one on the bottom. That's probably not going to show up well on camera. But yeah, we do that. And then we attach this onto here. That makes an ear from the looks of it. Yeah. And that attaches on this way, I want to say. Does it stick out or it's not clear? super clear maybe it sticks out a little bit I don't know we'll find out Pikachu can always have his ears slicked back it can be like uh, I don't know greaser Pikachu <laughs> if that's a thing probably not then again there's probably a fan fiction about that somewhere um, okay so we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side Take this in this orientation, do this. 
maybe this is like more of an ASMR video than a guide or build with me sort of thing. Pikachu's ears, looks like. I'm Pikachu. I'm more of a five off you. Uh, no, I gotta finish the rest of his tail. I'll just ask if he's done. Um, is this the right orientation? Because that seems like maybe it would make more sense to go that way. Or that way, I don't know. I don't know. Hard to tell. Um, I'm not going to dwell on it too much. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to stick out a little further, but I don't trust it to not fall apart. Um, okay, let's finish up here. Okay, so. Take this guy. Set this one on top. And one of these on there. One of these. Okay. Now we... Take another one of these, put it across this way, and attach one of these underneath, looks like. Yeah, we're essentially just building a zigzag. Um, just a very complicated and convoluted zigzag. Is that the right way? I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Got that in the wrong orientation. That would explain why it looks weird. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we'd go and do that. Put this across there. This is just fiddly bits. Okay, this goes there. Now that is held in place, that's nice. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. And does this not have a purpose? Did I grab the wrong, I grabbed the wrong part. Okay, that makes sense. Um, oh wait, no, that does have a purpose. Hi, Karumba. Can you tell that I have changed my medication? Woo! Okay, now this attaches onto here. And now you got a Pikachu. He looks kind of weird, I think, the ears. Leonard, can I help you with something? Yeah. I'm going to... Yeah, this is weird. That looks odd to me, but maybe that's just the styling. Um, so yeah, there's a Pikachu. Got yourself a faux working Pikachu. Um, all right, so yeah, judging by how long it's taken to do the first one and that the second one is supposed to be more pieces and more difficulty, um, we're gonna do this for another video. Hope you didn't get your uh, hopes up. But yeah, we'll probably do this for the next day. So whenever you're watching Pikachu, you'll see Snorlax the next day. So you got that to look forward to. And yeah, we got a lot of extra parts here. It feels like I can probably make some modifications to this guy to kind of increase sturdiness and maybe some style. Um, add some little personal flourishes, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Pika Pika, Pika Pika. Yeah, that's uh, Pika if he was done by, like, Stallone. Um, yeah, so that's what we made. Um, I do think the head should be a little more rounded this way, like a little more vertical. And maybe I can modify this. Maybe I missed a few pieces. There's a lot of leftover parts, as you might be able to see here. Yeah, there. Pikachu fell over, and then his ear fell off. Oh, God. This is just like that... the horror film set in the Pokemon universe. Yeah, I got a lot of extra pieces. Um, I get that there's like duplicates or whatever, like an extra piece of each thing, but it seems like I've got more 
than what I'm supposed to. So I'm going to go over the instructions again after this and maybe we'll uh, fill you in in the next video as to if I messed up or something because this just seems vaguely convoluted. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video in some aspect and if you like Pokemon, we appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. Um, if you're interested in more content like this, subscribe. That'll let us know that this is something we need to do more of in the future. And yeah, for the next uh, two weeks or so, depending on when you're watching this, uh, we're going to be doing everyday videos, partly for like if you're doing self-quarantine for the recommended 14 days. Um, yeah, if that goes up, which I know the uh, World Health Organization was suggesting like an 18 or even a 30 day quarantine. We might continue doing that. We're personally both in self-quarantine uh, for health reasons as well as uh, other stuff. So yeah, we're with you on this. Let us know if you're going through some stuff on your own uh, down in the comments. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching and stay safe and wash your hands.